everybody. Welcome to the Savage Land. And we're back at it again with another episode. Today, I haven't done an unboxing in a long time. The last time I did one was with the uh, Channel 6 News 4-pack. And today, we have another episode where I have my very first Mythic Legions. Uh, made by the Four Horsemen. Um, I ordered this from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, they have a plethora of figures up there, man. It's just um, Mythic Legions is basically its own world right now. And I wanted to see what all the, the chatter was about. So today you're going to see me open this thing up for the first time and just get my first thoughts on it. If I really like it like that, it, do I think it's something that's hyped up? Um, or do I think this is a really good action figure that uh, most of the people I see talk about it support? Um, this guy right here, name is... Mephitor. I hope I got that right. It's M-E-P-H-I-T-O-R. And the reason why I picked this guy, because one, he looks just like Stinkor for some odd reason. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but he also has an extra head that's like a goblin that's just like this jet black head. So both heads look good. I'm probably going to display him more with the goblin head because that's the reason that made me buy this. I had a huge... Uh, array of figures I could have chose chose and I chose this one because I thought it would fit me more um, they run about 50 bucks um, at Big Bag Toy Store this cost me $49.99 so they're definitely not on the cheap side but from looking at this figure through the pack I can see uh, it has a great scope it has great paintwork and it was made by some people who really cared about action figures you see that at the front here he's got the tie wire on the inside and on the back, you got some other characters. I don't know who any of these people are, but it's more kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons type feel where it has uh, mythical creatures like ogres and just a, a kind of almost a medieval feel uh, to it. It has a lot of skeleton people and uh, chain armor. So if I like this figure, then I'll dibble dabble on these guys a little more. I'm not going to go all out into this because I don't know jack about this store. I'm really not into stuff like that. Even though I'll sit up and watch it and I, I think it's cool. But I just don't hop on everything that's like this medieval type thing like Lord of the Rings. Which was a good movie and I don't think I've ever watched any of those fully through. Because they're just really long and I get really sleepy and tired. <laughs> so, uh, But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up, man. I'm going to get a close view on this and uh, you guys will see me think open this thing up for the first time. Alright, so we got the Mythic Legions figure here, Mephitor. And we'll go ahead and uh, start by opening this up. So it looks like here... This thing is kind of tabbed in by four corners. I guess it's collector friendly, so you don't have to tear open a box to get to your figure. If you ever want to resell this, you could definitely clip these things back on and be done with it. Okay, so the card just slides right out. Cool, that's easy and accessible. I like that already. Like I said, this, this figure already, already looks like it was made by people who actually care about action figures. So we got the Mifitor figure there. Let me go ahead and take the tie wraps off. One thing I will say about these, he's a lot smaller than I thought he would turn out to be. I thought he was going to be, just the way the pictures look, it looked like he was more of a 7-inch scale, but he's definitely in your 6-inch range. This guy is actually more closer to the size and height comparison of a Masters of the Universe figure to me, what it looks like. And Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll actually put Stinkor, the five and a half figure, uh, five point five inch figure beside him, and we'll do a little comparison. Cause I, I swear to you, he he reminds me uh, of that figure so much. I, I, like I said, I don't know if that was like a play off that or what. But these things are annoying, but they are good. Like I said, somebody who did this had to care. Like let's keep this figure intact because it looks like it's a figure with good paint apps and you definitely don't want that to chip uh you know why it's being stored to uh during this logistics area uh the logistics period while i was trying to get to uh get to the consumer got those off here all right so we finally got the uh tie wire off got him out there feels good he feels like a quality figure coming out it doesn't feel like he's cheap and you can tell a cheap figure when you pick it up got a sword here like i said this is mostly like a medieval type toy line so you pretty much got your broad sword right here 
nice paint on it nice silvery paint looks like we got some type of shoulder armor here that you can add on so he has two here it looks like it has a plug here so you can plug it in to his shoulder we'll figure that out in a little bit it's nice paint on it nice paint and sculpt the detail on this thing already I'm liking which the shield feels really good it feels like it has a good amount of paint on it like the paint is what makes this thing and that's what makes it pop and they did a good job because looks like here I use the sword to point looks like here it's a, a, a totally different blue on the rivets that goes that goes around it so that's that's an awesome detail take this crossbow out yeah it actually comes with a real like plucky string for this crossbow look at that that's dope that's dope I'm liking this already I'm telling you that right now I'm liking this already so you can see it's got the silver paint here same as the sword and it has the blue paint the same as the sword and like I said it actually has a plucky little string here that moves man that is so dope and then the handle down here this this handle looks like the same color as those rivets it's like a little bit different blue it's not a silver if it looks silver it's a lighter blue that is awesome that looks good already and here's my head right here this head is so dope man I gotta put this on immediately but this is why I really brought this figure and one thing I do love is always options but look at this goblin head man I mean this this is looks so good Jet Black. He has these yellow eyes that reflect off the light. I mean, that is awesome. I don't want to get too close where it get blurry, but you can just look at his teeth, his painted, his eyes. I mean, that that's dope. That's dope. This other head is more like kind of more like an animal type head. Yeah, that's what he looks like, a, a, a skunk or something. So I don't know, he, he it ain't stink or he, that's what they tried to model it after. But he looks good though, he looks good. He has the painted eyes too. Nice white paint throughout, real clean. You can tell on this figure that, that, that they took the time to paint it. I got a little small paint blemish here, but I, I'm not the one to trip on paint blemishes man it's a toy looks like there's a wash all inside of here too which is awesome moves pretty good being that he has heavy paint a lot of figures with heavy paint they tend to be stiff and he looks like one that I gotta heat him up a little bit just to feel safe yeah the way those legs are bending Awesome ankle rocker though. Look at this. He definitely has a broken leg. He looks good. See how far we can spread his legs out. So he can do a Van Damme. His arms just go up that far. Which is good. I mean, he does have armor on. So I can deal with that. When is, does he have double jointed arms? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want to break this thing. It's my first time kind of having him out. As far as ad crunch, whoa, that surprised me. Look at that right there. Look at that hunch on that. That's one hell of an ab crunch. It didn't look like he had too much because he's an armored figure. And a lot of armored figures, I give them the benefit of the doubt. Like with G.I. Joe, I'm like, well, they can't move because they have this arm on his chest. But there's a diaphragm cut, I believe, right in here that helps him move down far like that. Like he's standing straight up right there. But then I can take him and crunch him quite well. Now this piece around his neck looks loose and you could take that off I guess if you don't want that but I mean it's a dope looking little piece I like how the orange and red paint uh, plays off well off each other like it looks really good together it's got a lot of good red paint in here where the belt buckle is at and his boots is painted up well too and he has like his straps are painted like I said I, I love the attention to detail 
those little straps right there are painted and it looks really good a lot of attention to detail they sculpted he has some plugs and stuff on his back i'm not too sure what those are for oh okay so that's where his armor goes hmm. okay so let's go ahead and put you know what let me go ahead and switch the heads out on here let's let's just jump to that and we'll go ahead and do neck articulation too he moves around pretty good he's on a ball joint here so his head and neck can move around good left to right as far as back can look up pretty decent it's not it's not it's not great forward he can look forward pretty decent like i said once again it's not great but he does have good head art uh articulation as far as moving around because that ball joint is, is literally his head is on a swivel so you can do what you want with them at first the shoulder pads seem like they're a little bit trouble to put on but you just you just gotta angle them up right you gotta know you know really how to put them in and be used to the figure it, it, it's not as hard as I, I almost try to make make it seem just now so yeah so pretty much with oh so pretty much uh with your neck piece here this this back piece here keeps that piece from going back like really like stem if it had a cut he could really probably look all the way up but it looks like it's a double ball joint here and it keeps him from going forward but i guess to make up with that that's why they gave him such a great ab crunch yeah see he looks a little bit more better now that he has that guard on that covers up that long neck to a certain degree but this is the way i like him i think that head scope is looks phenomenal on this and the ears are real soft so you don't ever have to really worry about chipping or breaking them they're real pliable these ears they put on him so they definitely can move so I'm gonna go and put his weapons in his hand. I really want to figure out what's going on with that. Okay, so I guess they can they can go both ways. He's just a little stiff. I'm gonna have to heat him up off camera. So I guess this these are one of the figures that you do have to heat up, kind of mess around with so you don't break this guy. But uh, his legs were a little stiff. And even if he had double joint, I mean, he's not gonna be able to go that far because of the back calf and then just all this like sculpted armor that he has on it because these are more like a set of buccaneer boots there's a black part in here that's not his leg that's actually like a piece of the armor in here so he prevents that that leg from going all the way back but oh wow i thought i broke this joker that was some paint chipping wow okay so i was moving his ankle thing i thought i broke him but this is a figure you have to heat up because i wish you guys could see in the it's close in, in inside of here there's a piece of chi uh chip paint that, that was holding it and that's what kind of made this little noise is the paint breaking away which i thought i just broke him just now so he it's definitely one of those figures you got to be careful with because he has a great ankle rocker on him wow that thing feels extra loose now like the paint was like something hopefully that won't be trouble in the future but he can bend his his feet back that far Not really far, far, and then hop forward. Yeah, forward. Like I said, with a lot of this, 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 this these boots, it gets in the way. But uh, he still has enough articulation. I can already feel that. He still has enough. He's actually a pretty cool figure. This is for, this is like action figure caviar right here. This is for guys really not worried about name brands or anything like that they just really want a good design toy who looks like somebody took the care uh to put into this thing um i guess with the hands even though it came with a bunch of accessories he only got these set of hands so and they're both gripping which you know with this type of figure here he's gonna have a sword in his hand he's gonna have a shield in his hand i wouldn't mind having a couple of these guys just like a little army of them i guess that's why they came with the extra head because that's what i guess these type of guys are just kind of like army builder filler type figures i don't know anything about mythic legions or backstory it has a backstory on the card 
there, but the writing was so small, I think if I try to put it in too close, it'll get blurry again. But it's pretty cool. This this right arm, I mean, this left arm here is stiff that's holding the shield, but I mean, he holds his weapons nice and tight. They're not loose at all. Like, he, that's not coming out of his hand. Um, And then as far as the bow and arrow, I guess he would hold that. Let's see, uh, let's see how his hinges are. So I got a left right hinge. And is this an up and down hinge here? Nope. So two left to right hinges. I don't know how he's supposed to hold that crossbow if he doesn't have like a downward shoot on it. But let's see how he would get that. And I think with this line here, you have a lot of like add-on pieces you can get from other characters. Like, oh wow. Like you can mix and match some people, but I think it's a, it, it's meant to be all kind of interchangeable, especially with this set coming like this. Cause there's some base models you can buy and then you can buy like, I guess armor to put on them, like skeleton, like army type uh, models. But I like this figure. It's a hefty price tag, but like I said, this is this is caviar, uh, far as figure wise. And even though it's cheaper than Storm Collectibles and uh, Mayfax, it, it feels like it has almost more quality to it. All right, so we got Mephitor out of the package, and I probably do a little storyline on them. They got it on the box. Uh, I know on GI Joe, I complain a lot. Uh, well, not even a lot, just, you know, them not having full story backdrops. And uh, they're actually giving you to you on this so you can just do a little read up on them and kind of get into the world of Mythic Legions. Um, I also missed this belt here. And if I miss something or I don't know what's something that, please don't kill me. Um, this is just my first time going through it. And just, I thought it'd be good to put it on camera because I've been wondering about these figures and how good are they? Are they really worth it? And I, I think they are. I really think they are. And let's do Mephitor. So, an outcast who hails from the Swale region of Xylonia, Mephitor is a cunning spy who exploits his unique knowledge of his homeland to spy on members of Xylona's flock, a treacherous traitor loyal to none. This scoundrel is willing to work for anyone wealthy enough to pay his price. With a foul ability to direct a spray of toxic gas in his enemy's direction, Mephitor's attack is as unpleasant as it is deadly. So yes, he I guess he is modeled after Stinkor. He, I, I knew he was like a skunk or something. Uh, but I don't I, I, I don't know what this extra head is for. Like who is this? Is this supposed to be another type character? Or is this something he can morph into far as disguise and spying? That's something I'll have to dig into. But I brought it, not because of that skunk head, because of this, this goblin looking head. It's dope, it's fire, yeah. Um, this makes the figure like 10 times better. Um, far as weapons go, I think the weapons, uh, I think they get an A. They're nicely painted, they have silver. They, actually the weapons get an A plus. Weapons get an A plus. They're, 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 they're very good, they're, they're very well made. Um, far as the figure uh, with the paint, paint gets an A. Paint gets an A. Paint gets an A plus. Paint and sculpt gets an A plus. Um, far as the articulation, um, that almost kind of gets a B minus with me. Cause it's good, but it could be a lot better. I think just the heavy paint apps and just the armored sculpt kind of hindered it a little bit. But the articulation is good. He has a thigh cut up top here. He has that bottom cut. He has a ankle rocker. So, I mean, he looks good. I think, I think the only thing that holds him back is the arms don't bend as much as I want as far as double jointed type arms and the neck movement. So it gets a B minus on that end. Even though, because uh, that ab crunch makes up for a lot. His ab crunch is awesome on him. But overall, I think the figure uh, gets an A. A lot of A plus, and then it does a B minus. What was this? Oh, his front piece fell off. 
Wow, everything is plug and play. Maybe I'm missing a piece. Maybe there was something that posed to go on this back. If anybody knows, please let me know. There's a square piece in his back and I think I opened up everything. I got everything in there and I don't know. And what this belt does, I really don't know. It looks like it holds his sword. Maybe he puts that on. I don't know, I might have to do some more reading up on that. But I think he gets an A. Um, if you're into good quality action figures, I think this guy will do it for you. I think I've dealt with action figures enough to know when I see a quality figure, um, to know when something's worth it or it's just hype. And at the end of the day, it's how you feel. It really doesn't, not about anybody else. How do you feel about a figure? Some I regret, some I don't. I don't regret buying him. Will I go crazy over like buying a bunch of these? No. But I will buy some. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I think they're done really well. And if you really like action figures, this is a toy for you. If you're just really not into brands and you just really like a toy action figure, for this, this is for you. This is definitely for you. I think they did a good job. I've heard a lot about the Four Horsemen. I guess they've been uh, veterans in the game for a long time, man. And uh, you can tell. Just looking at it through the package, you can tell that uh, whoever made this cares about this product here. Um, you can tell it's made from the heart. Even looking at the package, you can tell they're not uh, uh, a name brand like Hasbro or Mattel. It, the way it's put, it's put together like it was almost handmade, you know, as far as the card back and all that. And hey, and this is what I call a thick uh, card stop right here. This is thick right here. This is Sunday morning church back in the day. Baptist type fan right here. You know what I'm saying? That's how thick this thing is, man. So it's it's dope. It's dope. I, it's dope. Some might give it an A plus. I, I I give it an A. I give it an A. I give it an A. Maybe I'll get into some other ones and they get an A plus, but it, it's not too far from A plus. Um, okay, so Stinkor actually is a little bit bigger than this guy. Like for real, for real. But looking at this other head, I mean, come on, man. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stinkor. This is Stinkor on, on steroids. A lot of figures just can't stand up like that. Um, and then that you already go down in the point average in the books when you can't do that. And this 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 dude right here, boom, plant stand. This is not the most sturdiest table, you know, so they, they stand though. So yeah, he passes the bar. He passes the bar with me. I think this is an awesome figure. And then with this a real six inch figure, I mean, this this Tony Starks. Look at that. I mean, he's, you know, he makes Tony Stark look like a giant. So one more look at that. But yes, this guy was modeled after Stinkor, and I knew it, especially when they say he sprays a toxin spray. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make this real, wrap this up. Um, overall, like I said, the figure gets an A. Mythic Legion gets an a, a in my book. I've heard a lot of guys talk about it for the past year or so. And I finally, uh, you know, pulled the trigger and spent a little bit of money on my curiosity. If this is your first time watching this channel, please put a like, comment, subscribe. Got a variety of videos. I won't stop. I'm just bringing you into the everyday life of a collector. This is what I do. If this wasn't on camera, I'd be doing this anyway. Once again, happy Black History Month. We're about to close it on out. Uh, to me, every day is Black History Day and, and history in, in, in general. Uh, we're going to end this show like we do all shows. When you walk out the door, make sure you're being a person of integrity. He fell over. <laughs> Until the next time, God bless.